Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 5 of Dumbledore Teaches You Lovely People How to Play This Wonderful Game, also known as Feed the Beast, the Unleashed Pack. I'm going to turn my sound down. Sound down. Uh, can I still hear it? I can definitely still hear it. Okay, so... Things that have changed since last time. As always, this is the first thing that we're going to go over each episode. Things that I've done in my own spare time. I've made farms. These are cows. These are chickens. These are sheeps. Sheeps. Sheep. Sheeps is not a word, I don't think. I think the plural of sheeps is... The plural of sheep is... Is it sheep or is it sheeps? Eh. The world may never know. We have 16 stacks of rubber. None in there. Get rid of that. If, if you can do act, quick tip, double click that, and you can search through chests. If it is coal, if it has coal in the name, then it'll light up like that. Quick pro tip there for you. Um, th this is our ore processing thing that we set up last episode. I've been caving, I think, three times <laughs> since then because I have no life. Um, lots of iron. This is tin. Uh, gold's in here. More iron. Silver. Silver. Lead. All of it's getting processed. This is copper, copper getting processed right now, and it's going lovely, lovely. These are all the ingots that we have. Plenty of tin, copper, lots of copper. Um, I normally don't have very much copper at all. Excuse me. So having this much is nice. Um, not much gold. We are, I think, forever going through running low on gold. One, once this finishes, this will be, that'll be 50 gold. 50 plus 20 is just over a stack. It's 70 gold. Um, for, you, may, you may be wondering, I think I'm going to do this to a chest. These right here, <clears throat> as you can see in this top thing right here, these are iron chests. This, this I believe, is a silver chest. Uh, and then these two are iron, silver chests, excuse me. This is our sugarcane farm, which we went over last episode too, I think. It, it, I can feel, they, they, <clears throat> excuse me, again, my voice is going out really quickly here. Um, eight, excuse me, eight things of storage. Uh, a normal double, single chest has three rows. A double chest has six. An iron chest also has six. A silver chest has eight. Um, let's see, and then, then gold chest is next. And then diamond chest has just built tons of storage. Um, in fact, let's take them. Oh, I also made another one of those, by the way, to get more coal coat, which is co coal that is more efficient. Uh, we're, I think we're going to take a minute to go over this real quickly, if, if that's okay with you. Um, hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So, to upgrade the chests, you you can make a copper chest, which is just ch a chest surrounded by copper, or a diamond chest, which is. Really, to save diamonds, I do the gold chest. Two diamonds and glass. A gold chest is not that. A gold chest is an iron chest surrounded by gold, or four gold and a silver chest and four glass. Um, a silver chest is either copper chest surrounded by silver, or an iron chest surrounded by four silver. A copper chest, we've been over that. An iron chest... I think, yeah, you can do the same thing also with refined iron or th with the copper chest. Excuse me. All very nice. And then a crystal chest, you can just kind of see what's inside. It's pretty neat. And then obs an obsidian chest will not be destroyed. But, they but the so the um, crystal chest and the obsidian chest both have the same storage capacity as a diamond chest does. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, if you have a chest and you don't want to take everything out and make a new chest and move all your items, you can make upgrades. You can normal chest to iron chest, or no, normal chest to copper chest, surrounded by iron, and then one gold, or one copper. Uh, and then and then you can do the same. Here, I'll just show you how that works. I need, okay, so we need some iron. That was a weird chest noise. And then we have some wood right there. Actually, we have lots of wood right there, too. So, normal chest to iron chest upgrade. And we'll just use this one real quickly, because we can. Actually... We're only gonna use it on this one up here because we we do need to use this one. <clears throat> Ding, iron chest now, and there was all this stuff in here before, and now it's just gotten upgraded. Excuse me for one moment. 
Okay, I had to clear my throat there, I'm sorry. Hopefully I sound better now. I'm sure I'm... I sound sick. That's just because I haven't, I haven't talked to anyone in a while. Okay, um... Yes, yes, yes. So, chest upgrade done. Cop lots of cotton. Stack of wool, too. Always nice, always nice. Whoa, okay. thought I was going to trample that there for a moment. Um... Yes, the animals. So that, so yes, that, that's really the extent of the chests mod. Um, this will probably get, up, get upgraded to a gold chest, uh, silver to gold chest upgrade, silver and then gold and then glass, and then eventually to a diamond chest, gold to diamond chest, which just takes two diamonds. Very efficient. Um, yes, 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 yes. So. Let's talk about these cows. You, you may be wondering, you say, Chris, you're at Y165, which you can see right here. Y165, how on earth did you get all of that, all of them up here? Well, you, oh, they did not mean to, to do that. Uh, up we go. How much, we have plenty of juice left in our back, uh, backpack. No, it's a jetpack is what we're flying in. Um... We made that, I think, in episode three. Um, yes, yes, cows. I made a safari net, which is kind of like a safari ball. Safari ball, if you're familiar with the Pokemon games. This is a safari net that's reusable. You can use it as many times as you want. We'll get to how to use it in a moment. You make it with four Ender Pearls and a gas tier. You can make an Ender Pearls through um, a Minium Stone and four Iron. When we have a Minium Stone, it's just this and this. In case you're wondering, you, the only uh, you can make a gas deer with bees, but that won't be for a while. We're not gonna get into bees for a while, and once we do, that's that's a long way down the bee line, if that makes sense. What's that? I'm not sure what, exactly what that is. I'll have to look into that. These are the same thing. One is <clears throat> it is a mystery. I'm not sure. Whatever. Uh, takes four string, one leather, and one slime ball. Unfortunately, we had some slime spawn. So it's it's hard to make a slime ball. You you remember that there are blue slimes in the game, and they're obnoxiously common. There's even some. There's several down here actually. Uh, I don't really want to fight all of y'all. Hello. But they they drop these blue slimes, which can be used in any vanilla recipe that involves slime balls. So they're called gelatinous slimes. Press U for uses. And you can make different things with them. Um, slimy mud, and then it kind of works like regular slime balls. But you cannot make other mods that use slime balls. You you have to have actual green slime balls. So we had a few of those. I used up all the ones we had to make these things. Yeah, cool. Um, and I can't make any more for you now, and I apologize for that. We have diamonds in here and gold. Yeah, I, we have lots of gold. See, this is oh, here's the coal dust. I knew I had some. We have lots of stuff in here. Huh. <laughs> I'll have to remember that for um for the future. And I, I, I think our plans for the for this episode just changed a bit too, so that's nice. Um, anyways, <clears throat> sorry, um, basically, you use the safari net, you, it's, it's that color, and then you right click an animal with it in your hand, the animal gets trapped in the hand, it turns a different color, so you know what animal is in what safari net, and so basically I just built some fences up here and then brought the things, brought the uh, safari nets with the animals in it up here, and put them down and started breeding, and it works. They have been getting out when I relog the game or leave the chunk, ch chunk like him. They have been known to switch pens, uh, but unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that until we start getting into automated farms, which we will get into it. But as a <laughs> as a side note, um, you're gonna love this. I love this. I'm I'm gonna laugh. Okay. I think I'm just gonna show you. I'm not telling you what I'm gonna do. This is four singets. Uh, you find this stuff um, in caves. 
we have diamonds right there. In caves, um, in power ores, and they drop kind of like redstone. It's pretty common. Uh, yeah. So, and this used in a whole bunch of recipes. But these are force shears. You can make other force tools, but um, that's for the future. You can shear chicken with this. I think you might actually get more. I'm not sure about that though. Maybe it's always three drop. That's that's a possibility. This is where it gets exciting. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. This is I think I think they drop an egg too when they, when you get when they get sheared. Never never did I, did I, did I just birthed like three chickens right there? That was strange. I've always kind of wanted to, wanted to do that with my life. Now for the real fun. <laughs> yes, yes, give me your leather. I think that I think they have a different sound too. Definitely a different sound. Let's turn the sound down a bit. Actually, I'm not sure what the sound's gonna be like for you. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's that. Okay, sorry. I got, got a bit distracted there, but I think that was I think that was worth it. Um Yes. Lots of cotton. Lots of seeds. Lots of wheat. Oh, don't trample that, thank you. Lots of wheat. Um I did kill a few cows. We're, we're gonna start eating steak once um that gets really going. How are y'all doing? Okay. So we've moved on to iron. So basically this is gonna maestrate all of this iron before it moves on to any other ore. That's just fine, I guess. Um okay. I think that's it. I think that's I think I've covered everything I want to cover before we actually get into this episode of Feed the Beast. I need to f harvest those too. I think. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna make a machine. Ooh, exciting, you think? Yes, it is. Um, for this machine, we need a machine block, which is, and this is getting back into IC2. This is an IC2 machine. It will connect to this glass fiber cable. Um, yes, I'm not, I'm not sure if I've made one already. Nope. So you make it with some stone, which I didn't know we had here, a circuit, and a machine block. It's called a compressor. It's made. It, it's used in some IC2 recipes. Bam. All good. So basically, you, this is this is coal dust. You you plop coal in a macerator, and it, it'll give you this coal dust. And I, I I did this all off camera because the macerator can be a long process, and I d didn't want to bore y'all with that. But basically, you take this, you put it in a four by four square like this. And you get raw car carbon fiber fibers, and you, and you take those, and you do this, and you get a raw carbon mesh, and then you compress the raw carbon flesh mesh, not flesh. It's not carbon flesh. And this is holding steady. It looks like we have plenty of coal coke to use. We have three and a half stacks to use. You know, I didn't think about it. But I think these guys need grass to um get their stuff back, their feathers back, and we can do that actually right now. And you may say, "What grass?" But you need silk touch for that. And I say, "Ha ha 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 ha," is what I say. Mer, I think it's just like this. Yep, one grass block. Actually, I think we're gonna need we're going to need more than that. But okay, so we'll make we'll make forty. So we're gonna test this theory. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work. 
Oop. Grass. Grass. And let's get also gets rid of this nice um Please don't, please don't. You're gonna get suffocated. Please. Please. Please get out. Please get out. Oh, okay, well that's one way, well, that's one way to be a heartless creature. That sound is annoying. <laughs> it was amusing, until it wasn't. Okay, so we're gonna just test that theory. I have not- I didn't read the wiki page before doing this. Because I'm really smart, so hopefully this works. And I don't, I don't think they can fall down a one by one hole. Okay, so anyways, we'll, we'll, let, that, we'll let that go and see what happens. Um, back to this. Ha! Huh, master plan, plan worked. We got sidetracked, and this a time to compress. So th these will compress into carbon plates. For one stack, you get eight, and they're very useful in large amounts. So you need lots of coal to make sure right to get this done. Um, yeah. So what we are going to make is body armor, and I think we're going to need more than this, but it will all be worth it eventually. And for this body armor, we're going to need diamonds, which I have very mixed feelings about. Or I think, I'm not sure if we can use these. I, f I found these in the cave, but I'm not sure if you if we can use them. No, not like that. Oh, you can. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so we don't have to use diamonds for this. This is an en energy crystal. It's either one diamond, or this is, I think, is a ruby, surrounded by redstone. So that's how that works. And you can't stack them. They're used in um, many recipes. Well, we're taking these, actually. We only need three for what our purposes are. And this is boots. Nano suit boots. This is the first level of armor, and you see that we just lost armor points. If you look down here, we put these on, we lost armor points. That's because they're not charged. You need to charge things before you... I see them... We don't need to stack. I see them getting their stuff back. Or that might be the babies growing. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll come back and check on y'all in a minute. Um, uh, no, this goes in this generator. Generates power, hence the name generator. Uh, what did I do? What am I doing? Oh yes, nano suit boots. Charge, charge. Crap. Well, this this episode just got a whole lot more interesting because we're going to make something special, which you should be excited for. Except we don't have enough of these. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna make an MFE right now, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the rest of the armor probably off camera and, and then just show you all the recipe. Because this really does macerating, macerating this and then compressing this takes forever. So we're not I'm not gonna bore you with that. I said you can't charge that in a bat box. The bat box is the first tier of ener energy storage. Um the second tier is the MFE, which apparently you need to charge that. Four energy crystals on the machine block and this gold cable. Which is just two rubber and gold. Or you can... F rubber and gold. So, just lots of gold, basically, is what I'm getting at here. Yes. Wait, four. I can hear them from over here. And then, insulated cold cable. Need four of that. Shut up. Sorry. I'm sorry. Cows, we can be friends. Machine block, take. Gold cable here. Um, we need more energy crystals. I'll lock that. Excuse me. Uh, we'll have to use one diamond for this. I think. Oh. There. No? There. We'll un unlock that. And then that should that should change. Hello. Okay, fine. That's oh, we don't we don't have enough redstone. 
My bad. We don't really have much redstone. It's, I swear it's harder to find than the caves now. Um, that MFE made. Now, before you go and, and be like, I'm going to put this here. Let me warn you. Put this here. This will emit lo a medium voltage energy. These machines can only take low voltage energy. Guess what happens when you give something that has a higher voltage? It blows up. Blows up. Not good. So, what we need to do is we need to get rid of this, but first we need, we need to make a low voltage transformer. Yes. No. Low voltage. Not here. I think there's a hyphen. Yep, there is. So it's just copper, wood, and copper cable, which is extraordinarily easy. I hope. We need two of this, we have the wood, and then we need some copper, that's bronze. Copper, doo doo doo. We'll put some force in there too, because why not? Um, we don't need to lock that. We don't really, uh, all I want to lock is that, actually. Uh, well, it's, okay, so how do I make it? I've forgotten. I think it's copper wood and copper cable. Yep. Bam! Low voltage transformer. So we need a wrench, which I think it's broke actually at the moment. I uh, may have made an electric wrench. If I haven't, I'll make it now. But I think I already have. Okay, that's no problem. We'll just make one. So this, episode, this episode just got exciting. Okay, so RE battery, which we can make. Um, I think, yes, right here. RE battery, done. Tin, redstone, copper cable. Then we need a circuit. First one we need some copper cable. And we took all the copper out of here. So we'll put some back. Or all of it back. Copper cable. And a circuit. And this, and this, and copper, and tin. We have more stuff than I, th than I thought we did. So that's good. So this is how you make a wrench. And then we'll put this here, put this here, this goes here. Electric wrench. Now, let's charge said electric wrench. Then we'll, then we'll press Shift F. No. Uh, hold down F, and then right click. Lossless wrench mode disabled. Loss if it's disabled, then it will, um, um, what will it do? It, it, it might lose the block, like change, um, one of these into a generator or a machine block, but it won't use very much energy. So if it's enabled, then it'll, it'll use almost all the energy, but it won't lose the block. So we are going to go not lose the block. Right, there we go. And it uses less power than I thought it would, so that's good, I think. And this should, all of these are going to slowly stop. I'm going to put this here. Yes, yes, yes. That's the sound it makes when it stops, I know. MFE, hopefully don't blow up, please. Thank you for not blowing up. And it will accept power into any side. Any side. Any side. Except this side. This side, it exports power. So we're going to export this power. Ha, power. Into a low voltage transformer. There we go. And now these will not gain power. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's got to be like this. There we go. Okay, so so the side with three dots needs to be is the input slot. You input power going into it. You can't right click on it, and then any other slide you can output power. So basically it's the exact opposite of the MFE. And this will slowly charge up and to give us a little boost, I'm gonna put some cold coke in the generator. 
that will speed up that the power um, supply very much so. This stores 600,000 EU, which is much more than like the 40,000 that the Betbox store, which is fantastic. So this is all going to slowly get processed, and then we can finally charge up these nano suit boots, which are going to use up all the power. But now you see it, the armor points depends on how much charge I is in the bo uh, boots, I believe. So we're going to let that charge up a bit. We're going to come check over here in our animals. Now I know for a fact that she all need grass, so. We also, need, we also need to eat in a minute. Um, eat. Nom 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 nom. And whenever you feel obligated, just remember that you can eat this grass and regrow your wool. Just, you know, whenever you want to. Please don't get hit. Please don't fall in. Thank you for not falling in. Um, if any of y'all regained your... Yes, okay, so you see... You see where this is, where there's no grass here? That's where they've been eating the grass and getting their leather back. That's what happens. And because this sounds so annoying, why are no, why are none? None. I have been failed. We're gonna have some fun. No, I'm not, 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 not. Give me all the leather. You're gonna. What's this? Tear. Huh. That must be what you. Yep, yeah, that, that's, that's what they drop when they're sheared, I guess. No, stop. Um. Not really sure what good it is. What, what it does, but I'm sure we will find out sooner or later. Um. Yes, so. I think. After, actually, let's go check on this, see how this is doing. I think we're about to end the episode here in a moment or two. How are you doing? I'll plop you in there again. This will slowly eat up all that energy. And you should be both be, yes. Lots of ores. We're going to update, upgrade that to a gold chest. Actually, that might be how we um, finish the episode. So we're going to go silver to gold chest upgrade. So, four pieces of gold, four pieces of glass, and one piece of silver. One piece of silver? One piece of silver. Four pieces of glass. Almost, almost all this gold. And... One piece of silver. Which I have so... Why did you stop? Ah. There we go. Um, one piece of silver. Silver. And I, I know I have someone here. I think there, I know for a fact I have someone over there somewhere. I'm not sure where though. Silver, gold, glass, gold chest now. And you can see all the storage. It, it's just beautiful. Is what it is. Okay, so think you got. I, I, also, one thing I failed to mention about the boots is that for a while they will get rid of your fall damage. See, I only took half a heart there, but I really should take a lot more. Like, this might even kill me here. You see, they took a lot of power, but also not much of a heart, not much health, is what I mean to say. Yes, I have allowed y'all to live because my sword is out. Okay. Alright. Have a lovely day, everyone. I hope that was a good, coherent episode. Coherent episode. Have a good day.